Assalamu alaikum. Hello guys. Yes, today we are going to talk about uh, the third classification of the causal sounds in English, which is the manner of articulation. How to classify consonant sounds. When first we have taken the, the voicing, which is very easy, guys, to spot. You know, it's zzz, sh, zzz, and things like that. And when, uh, when our larynx are vibrating, it means that if, if there is a vibration, it means that, that consonants, this consonant sound is uh, forced. If, if there is no uh, vibration, it means that uh, this consonant sound is voiceless. So, and the third and the second one, which which was the place of articulation, in this lecture we have, we will take into account some specific points in place of articulation, and then we will move to manner of articulation. First thing is that we have taken that how the IBA International Phonetic Alphabet named the the consonant sounds in, 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 in any language actually, specifically to English. They have named it according to the passive articulators, which are in the, in the upper jaw, not in the lower jaw. All the, the, all the lower jaw is active articulators, lies, and, and, the, and the upper jaw were the passive articulators. Ah, so, first thing we have named that. <coughs> For example, if I label b, m, b, m, uh, uh, b, three bilabials, which is the passive articulator is the upper lip and active articulator lower lip. Dental, we have known that tip or blade of the tongue goes to upper teeth set, and and we have also the. Uh, alveolar sounds, alveolar, which is which is z, t, and d, n, l, r, all of them are alveolars, which means that the active articulator temporal plate of the tongue goes to the alveolar ridge, that the ridge behind the, our upper teeth set. You can feel this ridge behind your uh, upper teeth set and and we have wa and ya, which are the palatal. The, the front of the tongue goes to the balat. So we name them balat. And we have between alveolars, sorry guys, between alveolars and between alveolars and palat, there is a spot called post alveolar. Sh, sh, and ch, and j. These were alveolars, post alveolar sounds. Ah, actually, and we have the vira and g and n. These velas because the back of the tongue goes to the velum, the soft one. And we have, which it, it is in the focal folds, we call it glottal because glottis, the glottis, this, this area in our vocal calls. Politicians call them they call it the glottis, so they name it glottal for sounds. And and the last thing, two sounds, I I take I, I let them in the in the last because they uh, because they you know they uh, eliminate this rule which is the the that the, the the, the lower articulator or the active articulators are predicted. When you say bilabial, lower lip. When you say dental, temporal blade of the tongue. When you say alveolar, temporal blade of the tongue. When you say post alveolar, temporal blade of the tongue. When you say palatal, front of the tongue. When you say the velar, back of the tongue. It's predicted. But in these two sounds, and th, this rule has been eliminated or has been rule, has been irregular now. So when, when you say back of the back uh, the lower lip goes to the upper teeth set, so it's not protected. What ABA did to name to the past and the active 
in one sound. يعني شن دارب actually let me say it in Arabic. يعني لما لما تم الأكتف تم مش مش متنبأ به فشن دارب قالوا خلاص هنحط الأكتف والباسف في one sound في one name في اسم واحد خلوه so فخلوه لبيو دلتا شبه أسناني مع بعض هنا we 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 did يعني to both of them. فليبيو دلتا سمع هذا بالنسبة لل لل للnouns and how sounds and how they be named according to their place of articulation. يعني مثلاً forceless alveolar, forceless post alveolar, forceless velar. مثلاً g forced velar. وكذلك. يعني نسميه بال forcing or place of articulation. الثالث واللي هو المتغير بكل هو المانر. What's the meaning of manner? Manner, you know, good place. I mean, where the place, where the erosion of obstruction occur, when sar mask the hawa. But when we say manner, it means how and how the erosion escaped through this erosion of obstruction. How the hawa from here to here is going to be made. How the hawa. So they call it manner of articulation. So, for example, I mean, for example. زز يعني كيف كيف يصير يعني بالضبط في المرة هنا يعني لما نقول مثلا التبرو بيت ذا تانك عدت المان الالفلو بيتش بس هاو ات اسكيبت يعني في فريكشن يعني في احتكاك بسموه فريكتيف احتكاكيه حتى حتى مثلا هني عندك عندك وش دارت مثلا كما تقول كلهم فريكتيف ساوندز Many, many of them are fricatives. But some like k, g, they have a slow motion. They have a slow motion, but they push through. The k, k. In the sense of back of the tank, add that little velum, but that mask the hawa completely. Yeah. But then sudden release, sudden release. That look more fashion. But some more on the jelly yet. Yeah. It stops. Yeah. It blows. And like they can friction and it blows. فسموهم بلوسيف ساوندز ف بلوسيف فتمت التسميه بتاعها مثلا ك ايش قلنا فورسلس فيلر تسميه بالكامله بالثري هذين بالثري هذين يعني بالفورسنج بلايس اوف ارتيكوليشن ومانر اوف ارتيكوليشن فالتسميه بتاع شنو فورسلس فورسلس فريجت سوري فورسلس ها فورسلس فيلر بلوسيف فورسلس فيلر بلوسيف ك فوست بيلا بلاوسيف يعني ما فيش صوت لو تشابه هذ الثلاثه معناها الصوت هذا صوت واحد لو في فرق في واحد منهم واحد بس معناها الصوتين مختلفين سو ذيس از ات يا جايز ذيس از ات يا جايز يعني ذيس از يو نو يو هاف تو نو ذيس فورسين ويل بلايز ويل مانر ذيس از هاو وي نيم ذا كونسل اور كونسل ساوندز مثلا نجي مثلا فور اكزامبل مثلا فورسلس دنتال يس فريكتيف فورست دنتال فريكتيف عندك ت ت يو ات سو ت ت فورسلس الفلور بلوسيف د فورست الفلور بلوسيف مثلا شنو اخرى مثلا فور اكزامبل فورسلس Labio dental fricative. Forced labio dental fricative. Hmm. I'm not under the hmm. هذا في واحد مختلف بكل. Hmm. والhmm. والhmm. هذا المنا اللي بتاعه مختلف. شنو؟ مثلاً hmm. Forced pilebial. بس مين طلع الهواء هنا؟ هنا طبعاً البيلا معدد مدرة شوية بخلف الهواء يطلع منش من نيزا كابيتي مش الأورال كابيتي. فهسمى فتم المنا هنا نيش. أمفي يعني نيزل فـ فورست طبعا كل النيزل فورست كل النيزل اهتزازيات فورست باي ليبيل الذي لم فورست باي ليبيل نيزل اوكي في عندنا تو مثلا فور اكزامبل عندنا الـ شوفها فورست طبعا فورست فيلر نيزل عندنا الـ which is very important هي الـ ng عند الـ reading writing سويمينج مش سويمينج هذه صوتين لا غلط سويمينج لا سويمينج ريدينج رايتينج 
ing die met ng guys. Almost all the time, almost all the time. So ng da hatta huwa forced velar nasal, forced velar nasal. This is it, guys. Yeah, yeah. And now, for example, the nasal lah lah or rah lah or rah. In the genitals, the genital asnan, the genital lisan jil hawa lah or rah. For some more lateral, lateral. And the rah will yeah. In the vowels, in the but in 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 the more modern standard linguistic terms, they call it approximate. Yeah, semi vowel, semi consonant. For some more rah will yeah, approximate. So, guys, thank you for listening.